Atlanta, Georgia's largest city and state capital. Having given the world Martin Luther King Jr., Coca-Cola, and even a zombie outbreak, this tree-lined modern city is fast establishing itself as a must-see destination. For a relatively new city, Atlanta has a fascinating history, reinventing itself time and time again, and today defining the very best of modern America. Welcome to Virgin Atlantic's Guide to Atlanta, all served up with some good old-fashioned Southern hospitality. There are five areas branching off from the main thoroughfare, Peachtree Street, each with their own distinct personalities. Downtown is where the majority of the city's tourist attractions can be found. Midtown is the heart of the art scene and has the city's biggest open space, the much-loved Piedmont Park. The newly developed West Side includes the design districts of West Midtown and the shopping neighborhood of Atlantic Station. East Side is the bohemian arm of the city. Little Five Points is where you'll find the city's creative scene, while Old Fourth Ward is considered the birthplace of the American Civil Rights Movement. In the north, the real housewives of Atlanta live, shop, and play in the upmarket Buckhead. Then, of course, there's the stunning Georgia countryside. Wherever you explore, Atlanta has plenty to keep you occupied. MARTA is Atlanta's public transport system of buses, trains, and streetcars. The long-neglected rail network isn't as frequent or connected as in other major cities. However, it is slowly but surely being improved. And with discount passes, it's the cheapest way to get around. The Atlanta streetcar links downtown with Sweet Auburn's historic district. With low fares and a frequent service, this is the best way to get around the central sites. Ultimately, Atlanta is a gas guzzler's paradise, but it can be confusing to navigate. Streets often change name with no warning, and the city planners have taken the Peach Association to heart. If you do still want to drive yourself around, it's easy to pick up a rental and join the masses on the highway. Traffic is notorious, but as long as you clearly avoid the morning and evening rush hours, it's no worse than anywhere else. The best option is to avoid the stress and book yourself a local driver. Taxi services here aren't as recognizable as in other cities, and hailing cabs is a rarity. If in doubt, head to a hotel lobby where there's usually some nearby. Otherwise, always pre-book before you travel. North Point Transportation provide a safe and luxurious service, whether you're here on business or sightseeing. A smooth and informed ride. Atlanta's neighborhoods each offer unique shopping experiences. Westside Provisions District is part of the revived Westside shopping scene, known as the Design District. Crafted Westside is an emporium showcasing the most talented artisans and designers in Metro Atlanta. Keep a lookout as they regularly present pop-ups around the city. The hip Little Five Points is the place for vinyl, thrift, and bookstores. Criminal Records is great for browsing, with plenty of classics and rare grooves to be found amongst its treasure trove aisles. The Vinyl and Pop Culture Store also hold plenty of in-store performances and signings, so check online for the latest. Literally owned by the daughter of a junk man, this alternative superstore houses unconventional fashion and homework. Eccentric Junkman's daughter epitomizes the vibe of Little Five Points. A short walk through the Inman Park neighborhood leads you to the small but perfectly cute acapella books. With a wide selection of local literary talents alongside classics and new releases, Acapella is a must-visit for any book lover. 
Nearby, The Beehive is a boutique collective made up of indie designers specializing in handmade, homegrown products. This long-running store features the best of Atlanta's designers and craftspeople, with classes being held regularly. So if you fancy picking up a new skill, along with some souvenirs, book a class online. For more commercial shopping, there is Atlantic Station, with most well-known brands found here. And for the finer things in life, the Shishi Buckhead Malls of Phipps Plaza and Lenox Square have more than enough to satisfy. Exploring the surrounding streets, you'll find Epitome, a curated shoe shop for the ultra stylish, featuring lots of limited edition must-haves. Mouthwatering Southern cuisine can be found across Atlanta, with its award-winning chefs routinely gaining praise for their use of local and seasonal produce. Breakfast and brunch are taken very seriously in the ATL, with waffles, biscuits, and the traditional shrimp grits filling the menu. West Egg Cafe, nestled in the West Side Provisions District, is packed every morning with customers enjoying their reimagined Southern breakfasts. Fresh coffee and hearty dishes provide the fuel for the day ahead. Mary Max Tea Room is the original and sole survivor of the post-war dining scene. The historic restaurant serves so much more than tea and cake and has been setting the standard for Southern cooking for over 70 years, building on the foundation left behind by the original owner, Mary McKenzie. Many long-standing traditions remain. On arrival, customers write down their own orders to avoid any mistakes, while Joe Carter, the Goodwill Ambassador, roams the dining rooms offering her unique style of hospitality. A true Atlanta institution. Another staple of the South is the barbecue. There's an abundance of barbecue shacks across Atlanta, but one of the most popular is Fox Brothers. What started as a backyard gathering has become renowned statewide with the rustically scorched ribs, a choice pick. For quick bites, the wallet-friendly Victory make delicious gourmet sandwiches, such as the inspired Han Cholo. May the sauce be with you. It's also a pretty neat bar and home to the Jack and Coke alcoholic slushie. You won't struggle to find good quality takeout but for food in a hurry, one towers above the rest. Selling two miles of hot dogs every day, the Varsity has gone from a simple food stand to the world's largest drive-in restaurant, becoming Georgia's most revered and exclusive attraction in the process. Good order, please step forward. What do you have? 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 Located at the top of the Westin Hotel, the Sundial takes farm-to-table dining to new heights. Featuring a revolving restaurant and cocktail lounge, there is also access to viewing platforms, allowing you to take in 360 degrees of unrivaled views. Luckily, that isn't the only selling point, and there is a tantalizing menu to match. Atlanta's food markets are a real treat and equally impressive for their fresh ingredients. Packed with a broad range, Sweet Auburn Curb Market is open all year round and can be easily reached by the downtown streetcar. Great for international and local specialties, it recently ranked in the top 20 USA Today lists of the world's best food markets. To the east, Frog Street Market is a refurbished industrial space now serving as a casual, upscale dining and shopping spot. Quickly becoming the talk of the town, this hip meeting place offers great food and drink with a relaxed vibe. Affectionately known as the A-Town, when it comes to culture, Atlanta plays an A-game. The downtown area of Centennial Olympic Park is a good starting point for exploring the city's more well-known sites. Jump in the Skyview Atlanta for a bird's eye view and to get your bearings. It 
its neighbor, the world of Coca-Cola, is another hometown highlight. For sports fans, the College Football Hall of Fame is a winning day out with a host of interactive activities. A playground for football lovers, the uninitiated will also enjoy learning about the history of this popular all-American sport. Of course, nothing beats the atmosphere of a live game. Check out the Atlanta Convention and Visitors Bureau for the latest information. Nearby, the Center for Civil and Human Rights is a great starting point on the road to discovering Atlanta's significant role within the civil rights movement. The thought-provoking installations pay homage to the iconic Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., as well as highlight present-day human rights issues and the continued fight for freedom and equality for all. Continuing the legacy, the Martin Luther King Historic Site is located along Auburn Avenue, the once thumping heart of 20th century African-American culture. Pay your respects at Dr. King's tomb before taking a guided tour around the birthplace and church where both Martin Luther King Jr. and Sr. were pastors. Open daily, all the landmarks are free to enter. Atlanta is equally synonymous with the compelling, but fictional, Gone with the Wind. Written by local author Margaret Mitchell, the book is a dramatized account of the city's civil war years. The novel and subsequent Hollywood immortalization began life in a midtown basement apartment. Nicknamed The Dump, the three-story Tudor Revival building plays host to various exhibitions on the Georgian-born author. The newly dubbed Hollywood of the South is the backdrop for a growing number of award-winning films and TV series. Follow in the footsteps of your favorite characters with Atlanta movie tours. Guided by experienced actors who have appeared on the sets of many of these films, you'll hear fascinating behind-the-scenes stories while being whisked around key locations. Be sure to book in advance as this is one hot ticket. Boasting a celebrated collection of classic to contemporary art, the High Museum has grown from modest origins to become the leading art museum in the South. Situated in the Art District of Midtown, the High Museum attracts world-class exhibits all year round, complementing its vast permanent collection. Old school glamour and boundary pushing venues combine to give Atlanta a vibrant and entertaining night scene. At the forefront is the old Fourth Ward hangout of Edgewood Avenue. Once a neglected wasteland, this street is now a quirky and eclectic Atlanta night spot. Traditional and experimental values collide at the irreverent Sister Louisa's Church of the Living Room and Ping Pong Emporium. Locally known as The Church, Monday nights are for ping pong tournaments, and on Wednesdays, don a robe and blast out your favorite hits to the backing track of a church organ. At the other end of Edgewood is retro game bar Joystick. Filled with vintage arcade machines, pinball, and plenty of board games, there's also a healthy selection of local craft beer. Joystick hosts weekly events from drunk chess to geek speed dating, so go online to check out what's happening. For 10-pin bowling in style, head to the ultra-chic Buckhead, where you'll find the painted pin bowling alley. The bowling operates on a first-come, first-served basis. Alternatively, play one of the many classic games peppered around this converted warehouse. At the grungier end of the scene, the Earl in East Atlanta is a thriving hangout. The bar turned concert hall is regularly voted amongst the best live music venues in the United States. 
Stealing the spotlight every time, the iconic Fox Theater is by far the best place to catch a show. With greats such as Elvis Presley and the Rolling Stones all having graced the stage. Formerly a movie palace, this Art Deco monument now hosts a variety of concerts and theater performances. If you miss a show, tours take place on specified days of the week, so plan in advance. And for the comedy lovers, Dad's Garage is unmissable. The award-winning and highly rated improv troupe offer up original plays alongside topical shows. Whatever your nightlife preference, the ACVB has an up-to-date list of all musical, theatrical, and cultural happenings. It's worth mentioning that smoking is currently allowed in some bars and restaurants. Each venue has a different policy, so check before you visit. Atlanta is a modern city in a forest landscape. A playground for the locals, Piedmont Park is the most well-known open space with year-round events and plenty going on. At the northern end of the park sits the Atlanta Botanical Garden, an expansive natural wonderland, especially great during holidays when the garden comes to life with themed installations. Locals are embracing and reclaiming their industrial spaces with regeneration programs popping up all over. One such project encircling the city and bringing Atlanta together is the stunning Atlanta Beltline. The most popular route along the former railroad is the East Side Trail, passing through Piedmont and Old Fourth Ward Park. A great way to experience the Atlanta lifestyle. Printable trail and art maps are available online. The Beltline is best explored by bike, and the nearby Atlanta Beltline Bicycle Shop will hook you up with a set of wheels. Celebrated as being one of the seven natural wonders of Georgia, Stone Mountain Park is a family adventure attraction and a 30-minute drive from downtown Atlanta. The park's varied activities are built around the spectacular Gutson Borglum carving, depicting three Confederate figures from the American Civil War. The sculptor later went on to create the even more impressive Mount Rushmore. The one mile hike to the top can be walked or reach the summit in minutes by taking the Skyride cable car. All the big names are present, and although prices fluctuate when conventions and major events are in town, there are still lots of unique and reasonably priced options available. Stonehurst Place is an elegant, modern, eco bed and breakfast set in an historic 19th century shingle style mansion house. Designed originally by George Hinman for his family, it is now owned by designer Barb Shadamay and has been beautifully curated with antique furniture and original artworks, including many by British artist Nina Fowler. The creatively served breakfasts are a delight to wake up to and are amongst the best you will find in the city. Located minutes from Piedmont Park and the restaurants of Midtown, this boutique bed and breakfast feels like a million miles away from anywhere. A stay at Stonehurst is like being given the keys to your very own Midtown home, complete with two innkeepers on hand to ensure that you have the best stay possible. Nearby, the smart and modern Lowe's Midtown is the pick of the larger luxury options, blending Southern charm with a sleek futuristic look. Along with exquisite comfort and amenities in all rooms, the Saltwood Charcuterie and Bar is well worth staying in for, with a wide selection available. The hotel has thought of everything and even has a complimentary driver service to transport you anywhere within downtown and midtown. A pleasant and friendly setting for a central stay. For those visiting on a budget, the reasonably priced Artmore Hotel is the top choice. 
the 1920s Art Deco-inspired hotel is a long-running, prominent figure in the Midtown scene. Situated across from Amarta Station, it offers easy access to all of the city's attractions. A visit to the bar before heading out to the courtyard fire pit is the best way to end a long day of sightseeing. The decadent Intercontinental overlooks the fashionable district of Buckhead. Rooms include all the luxury comforts you'd expect, along with breathtaking views. The in-house Southern Art Restaurant combines Southern flair with a hip urban edge, resulting in some seriously tasty dishes. In the evening, grab a drink in the bourbon bar and marvel as your tonic of choice is expertly prepared. A sublime city retreat, their incredible heated saltwater pool and spa facilities are also open to non-guests and are well worth a visit. By far the coolest digs in the city, the Atlanta Treehouse is a secluded and quirky place to lay your head. The Treehouse has been hitting the headlines and making list after list of the world's most unique places to stay. This Peter Pan-like treetop wonderland is highly sought after. Bookings open every three months, so get in quick with your reservation. The Gateway to the South is a labyrinth of cultural and geographical contradictions. Luckily, you don't have to travel too far out of Metro Atlanta to explore the Peach State. One of Georgia's most popular state parks, Amicalola Falls in the Northwest Mountains, is the perfect combination of adventure, spectacular scenery, and total relaxation. 90 minutes from downtown Atlanta, this Dawson County attraction is best reached by car. This is where the approach to the Appalachian Trail begins but there are plenty of shorter routes to enjoy if you haven't prepared to walk all the way to New England. Visit during the changing of the seasons to see the leaves in peak colors. It's worth staying the night, and there are plenty of campsites and cabins scattered around. Or alternatively, visit the Mountaintop Lodge where you'll find more hotel-like comfort. Remember to watch out for the local wildlife and take all of your trash away with you. Accommodation at Amicalola is best booked in advance. When you're heading back to the city, stop by the historic gold rush town of Dahlonega. The site of the first major US gold rush, Dahlonega has the purest gold in the world at 98.7%. At Crissen Gold Mine, the quartz that is dug up is available for the public to pan through in the hope of striking it rich. When you're all panned out, head 200 feet underground and over 100 years back in time at the Consolidated Gold Mine. Experience firsthand how miners blasted the quartz veins to uncover huge deposits of gold. In the on-site gem studio, watch the miners turn rough gemstones into wearable keepsakes. There's more than just gold in them there hills. In recent years, a flourishing wine industry has built up around the outskirts of Dahlonega. Overlooking the foothills of the southern Appalachian Mountains, Wolf Mountain Vineyards has it all. Great views and fabulous local wines. There's always so much going on. So check out Creative Loafing, Atlanta's premier alternative news magazine for the latest on what's hot and what's not. So there we have it, a sprawling mass of suburban greenery with so much to discover. The once rough and ready railroad town has evolved into an in-demand 21st century city. Atlanta's not only the gateway to the South, but perhaps the very beating heart of it. Thank you for watching our Virgin Atlantic Guide to Atlanta.